Savage here live at the Wrestling Universe with none other than D-Lo Brown, WWE legend, Hall of Famer, Nation of Domination member. What's going on, D-Lo? How was your flight? How, how was your trip to New York City? You know, Savage, coming across country, it's difficult, it's long, you're sitting on a plane, but when you land, when you touch down, when you get on the ground, and then you get in front of the fans... None of that matters anymore. It makes it all worth to be here, sitting at this table, signing for the great fans in New York. And New York is special. I'm sure you've had uh, many memories from Madison Square Garden. Oh, Do you have yeah. any one particular one that sticks out the most for you from MSG? I mean, that's easy. It's uh, SummerSlam 98, myself, Val Venus, for the European title, opening match 20 minutes. Um, two young men who were trying to find our way in the company and to get 20 minutes on what was at that point considered the most important pay-per-view in the, in the WWE's history um it, it was something amazing to be out there and and i remember the, the city of new york i tell the story all the time i got a d-lo and a d-lo sucks chanting the same match it means i was doing something right. that's that's tough that, was, not many I, people i was do doing that. i was doing something right that's like being a master at your craft yeah. which you are and right now you're working with impact now tna mm -hmm. uh, can you tell me a little bit about the big name change are you excited for it what any breaking news we can drop you know i'm excited for the fact that it, it People love nostalgia, and I'm excited for the fact that we can we can bring and rekindle that 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 thought process again and bring back the TNA uh, mantra and bring back that style. Um, the one thing I can break right now is there'll be no six sided ring. I can guarantee you that. Guarantee you that. I'm Probably just, a good thing. Well, safety reasons, safety concerns. It's it's, it's difficult, but uh, I'm looking forward to. Um, feeling the change and being part of the change and I can't wait till January that's right Sports Center I can't wait till January when we officially rebrand as, as TNA yeah wrestling shoes right now it's probably bigger than it's ever been is it safe to say that we're kind of like in a resurgence or is it kind of the same as the Attitude Era is it bigger than the Attitude Era right now it, it's a, it's definitely a renaissance in a way because it's a hearkening back to what Attitude was and, and with so many hours of pro wrestling on TV. There's more wrestling on TV right now than there's ever been. There's so many quality and talented wrestlers on TV than there's ever been. So um, the fact that there's eyes on the product and there's 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 avenues for for the talent to go out there and 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 show their skills, that's good for the fans and that's good for the business and that's that's. That's win-win. Yeah, you're right. TV, uh, pay-per-views, mm -hmm. live events. I mean, recently Impact just killed it with their pay-per-view. Yeah. Maybe match of the year between Mike Bailey and Will Ospreay. Yes. You were there to see it live. Uh, what stuck out to you from that match, man? Do you think it's a match of the year contender? Uh, I think it's got it's got all the, the earmarks of being match of the year. It had drama, it had compelling action, it had hearty action, um, great chemistry between the two guys. It had everything you're looking for in something you call match of the year. Um, both of those guys are very talented, talented workers, and they just you know they just showed the world what happens inside impact tna on a weekly basis that's the kind of work that's the kind of of execution in the ring that that you should expect from from our company yeah impact wrestling has been killing it big shout out to both those men and big shout out to uh impact for just making statements uh pay-per-view after pay-per-view i gotta say the women's division in impact is so freaking good it makes me question myself when i see the pwi top 500 and there aren't women in that list and and i i understand that i agree with you too i just don't want to to to, to eliminate someone from the end so i would like to see a a top 500 male a top 500 female and then maybe a top 250 combined where it's a, the best 250 in the wrestlers in the world. And if you had something like that, I mean, that's not only a, a pat on the back for everybody who's in that 250, um, it's something they can they can they can stick their hat to and then it's something that their fans can rally behind. You know, something I'd love to see somebody do, and if not AEW, maybe Impact or TNA can start it. Let's get more local talent the best local talent from city to city that you guys go to and actually represent their dojo, their brand, so we can get wrestling just out there more because there's so many cities that they don't even know there's indie talent, indie mm -hmm. wrestling promotions. Why isn't anybody doing anything like that? I, and I don't, I, that's a good question. I could, you know, if I, if I pretended to answer that right now, I'd be, I'd be disrespecting every one of those talents in all these cities that you talked about. Um, it, is, it, is a, it, is a good, it is a good concept. And it's something that you can 
you can showcase the, the, the grassroots of what this industry is because from day one, this is all built off. Wrestling is all built off your local talent, watching them grow up, watching them ascend to a higher level than one day being on TV. So it all starts on the grassroots level, on the independent level. I, I would just love to see more from that from big companies that want to actually work mm -hmm. together with the smaller companies. We can get more autograph signings out of it. Fans can have more interaction. We can get big talent to come down to the local shows mm -hmm. and just put everything over. And of course, put more butts in seats. And more importantly, uh, create new fans maybe. And that's, that's what you want to do. You, you It's about drawing people in and and then giving them something to look forward to and giving them something to cheer for and root for and and if wrestling can give them something to not think about their day-to-day -day life and they could be somewhere else for an hour two hours three hours on a monday you know that's what wrestling is supposed to do it's supposed it's supposed to be a release a, a getaway from the normal day-to-day -day. I just would love to see more work from the independents and the big companies working together mm -hmm. and just making a better product overall. But right now, wrestling's hotter than it's ever been. Talk about young talent. I got to ask you, what do you think about Logan Paul? I, he is, I mean, I've not seen many people in my time in wrestling take to wrestling the way he did. Almost like a fish to water. He, he, he looked at it, he said, I can do that. And he went out there and did it at a higher level than... A lot of guys who are getting paid to do this every day. Um, I think he's a tremendous athlete. He's a, uh, a polarizing figure. Um, and you know what? Every time he does something, whether it's in the boxing or in the wrestling ring, he puts eyes on the product. So to me, that's a win. Speaking of WWE, Logan Paul, I thought that was a big time move bringing in a Logan Paul because you're bringing a lot of new eyeballs in mm -hmm. that maybe never watched professional wrestling. And now they're tuning in to see what the Mavericks going to do. Mm -hmm. Do you think at Crown Jewel, we're going to see him win his first gold belt against Rey Mysterio. You know, and that's, that's, that's a, it would seem like that would be the, the type of event, the time, the place when everything seems to come together in a crossroads where it's like, you know what, this guy has, he has worked his tail off. He has proven that he's passionate about the business. He's not just fly by night trying to do this for clicks or views. He's actually invested in this. And it, it might be the night that stars align. It could be it, it could be something special. It could be his night. And speaking of stars, I gotta ask you, since you're someone who definitely is used to getting heat mm -hmm. and being next to people who get heat, you were next to the rock when he was beyond hated. Yep. Do you see a similar difference between him and uh Dom, his uh, Rey Mysterio's son? Like the heat that he's getting right now, is that real? Are we really hearing that? Oh yeah, that's that's real. And there has been very few wrestling talent who generate that please shut up get off my tv screen i don't want to see you heat and that is white hot heat that very few heels can ever ever touch i mean it's amazing i mean I, i'm getting to the point where i don't think i've ever heard booze like this it, it's 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 the opposite of the road warrior pop that's how big yeah, it is yeah, yeah. like it's it it's, it's deafening like I've ne it's once again it's rare to hear boos drown out the other boos. Just watching it on TV, you can barely hear a word he is saying. Yes. They are not letting this guy talk, but I got to give him props. Uh, are you familiar with him? Did you grow? Up, you kind of he grew up around you. Yes. Yeah, yeah, so I, I, you got I, any stories so about a young Dom? Did he get in just trouble? Just him run. Just seeing him run around the locker room. That's about it. But nothing. Nothing too crazy. So, Do you think anyone in the business I'm right now has the kind of backstory that Dom has going into a career up. like this? Like, like having that history, being in the ring with an Eddie Guerrero, being in the ring with his father, and now look at him now. The only person that comes close is a guy like Cody, who, you know, Dusty was the equal to Ray. So Cody has all those experiences being in the ring with a Tully Blanchard, a Magnum TA, and Nikita. So they're they're very similar, just opposite. I, I, speaking of Cody, how do you feel about Cody's run right now? I, I think he 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 went down to AEW, reinvented himself, and made himself a, a larger star. And he's on top of the wrestling world right now. And and now it's just a countdown to when he can finish and complete his story. Do you think he's going to be the guy to dethrone Roman Reigns? And if not, who would you make be the guy? Or is there even going to be a guy? In my opinion, I think Roman's going to have that title no, for another five years. Uh, I, I, right now, Roman is the hottest guy in the business, and he's such never thought about that. He's such a un, he's such a unique act that he can he, he can only be on TV so much. If it's not to me, if it's not Cody, 
the guy I would peg who has the legit shot of where people go, oh, that's that uh, he could beat him at that's uh, Gunther. Okay, is Walter? He, he uh, that brother, can, that brother can go. Probably the most Im- impressive <laughs> intercontinental champion we've had in the last two decades. Yeah, I mean, if anyone could beat Roman, you would not Can't bat an eye. If 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 he beat Roman, you'd be like, well, okay, no, no bad matches. Are you shocked at how far NXT has come? Um, I, I'm not shocked. I'm just glad it, it's able to showcase the younger talent as they grow. I mean, it's like watch. It's like watching AAA baseball on a national network, and now you get to see these young kids grow up, and then boom, now they're on your national TV. So that's awesome. It's nice to see. I, I just gotta ask you this: Do you see this right now? Like a lot of the fans, they always talk about wrestling wars. Oh, AEW versus WWE or versus TNA or versus. Do you look at it as a war or is it just professional wrestling? I saw. I think it's professional wrestling. Yes, you're gonna have companies go at each other. Yes, you're gonna have head to head, you know, TV shows. But if people can brand it a war, I call it a victory for the fans because now they get to see and have ample ways to watch the talent they want to watch, and that for that. At the end of the day, it's all, what it's all about is is getting the fans as much product as they can consume. Yeah, I was talking to Marty Janetti. I actually produced his podcast. We were talking last night about this, and he agrees it's not a war. People should just sit back and enjoy what they like. Life mm-hmm. is short. Why spend it always trying to fight someone? To me, it's like it's like watching pro football. It's like watching the NFL. You have your favorite team, but at the end of the day, you're a fan of football because that's why you watch it. You have your favorite. You have your favorite talent. You may have your favorite company, but at the end of the day, it's wrestling. Yeah, and yeah. embrace it all because it always wasn't like this and it may never be like this again. Yeah, and right now it's an all-time high. And uh, last night, you know what else Marty told me last night? He said he gave The Rock his first beer. Do you know this to be true? I, I, I can't I can't confirm or deny that because Marty was around with The Rock a little bit before me. So um, I have to call Rocky and ask him. Maybe we can get that <laughs> back here one day on the show the next time we meet up with D'Lo. D'Lo, thank you for joining me here on Appreciate Wrestling you. with Savage. My pleasure, man. You're watching D'Lo Brown. Make sure you check him out. He's killing it right now, creatively. And maybe, uh, I think you're going to maybe be a manager again one day. We'll, we'll see. You you, never know. If you could manage someone right now in TNA, Ooh. who would it be? That's a good question. If you had your, like, you know, dealer's pick, and they came through and said, well, who do you yeah. want to take the Obviously, top? it'd be a guy like Moose, because he's a, he's a mm. five-tool player. Like, mm. he's just a five-tool athlete. Yes, he is. And if you want to if you want to ha- hit your wagon to somebody, you want to hit your wagon to a, a freaking star. That sounds like a good plan. Here with D'Lo Brown at the Wrestling Universe. We'll see you next time. Awesome. Thank you, bro. Thank you. Appreciate that. Hopefully it wasn't too long. Oh. Let's see that I keep it perfect. Oh, 12.